Hello, everyone, and welcome to the United College Admission Talk. Have an appointment with UBC today to know more about our college. I'm CC, the host of today, and I'm a 2020 graduate from CUHK United College. Today, we are very pleased to have our college head, Professor Jimmy Yu, Dean of Students, Professor Alas Talao, and our alumnus, Mr. Arnold Chen, to talk with us and share more about United College with our new students. Through watching this video, we hope that you can choose a college that suits you the most. First, we will invite our college head, Professor Jimmy Yu, to say a few words to our new students. Hi. First, uh, congratulations on your admission to the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Now you have a difficult decision to make to find a college. Well, United College is known to be a very green campus, uh, just like my background. But of course, this is not a real thing. The real thing is 10 times nicer. So I just come and visit us. I think you, you, you will appreciate how, how green and envi environmental friendly it is. And uh, we, we pay a lot of attention to, to its uh, sustainability also. And we also have a very strong alumni network. And that would play a very important role in your future development. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Yu. Most of our students know that CUHK has a unique college system, but I guess they don't know much between the difference the, about the difference between college and the departments or faculties. So may yeah. I ask Professor Yu, what is the function of college for students? Okay, let me share a um, PowerPoint screen with you. Well, we have a very unique system okay, because most universities would have only, only a, a faculty. But we have a residential college system. Well, for the faculty side, it is uh, dealing with your, your, your major field of study, your academic side. And for the college, actually, we are dealing with all other things because uh, well, the academic side may give you the, the, may find you the first job, but life is much, much more, okay? So yeah, you have a lot to learn in order to have a meaningful and very enjoyable life. And that, that's the purpose of the college. So um, our new students are going to indicate the preference for college students. So what kind of students would choose United College? And I also heard that most UHK students have an application that UC students are intelligent and have a wide exposure. Is that true? Well, uh, the UC students, uh, that, that's a good description. Yeah. But I also think that uh, UC students are willing to, uh, to learn new things and they accept new challenges. So I hope uh, when you come, uh, you will develop your, your, your uh, new interests and then uh, build up your, your confidence, okay? And uh, serve, then, then go ahead and, and serve the uh, society. Thank you, Professor Yu, for your introduction of our topic. So now let's move on to the different programs provided by our college. United College offers a wide variety of scholarships to our students, such as the first in the Family Tertiary Education Admission Scholarships. So may I ask Professor Lau, can you share more about our scholarships? Right, okay. Um, in fact, our college offers uh, scholarships, awards, incentives, and also financial aid to students all year round. And uh, in the last academic year, the total amount of college scholarships, awards, and financial aid is over 10 million Hong Kong dollars with around 1,800 awards. And you have just asked about the um, sort of, uh, newly admitted sort of, uh, scholarships and also the first in the family scholarships. Maybe I can share with you okay, um, the uh, PowerPoint that highlights uh, some of these of newly admitted scholarships. Okay, here we go. Right, 
So uh, for newly admitted students uh, through the Jupiter system, okay, uh, they can start uh, collecting awards if they have uh, three subjects with level five stars, okay, and that is the uh, ten thousand dollar of cash awards. And obviously, the more stars you get, okay, the higher uh, amount of awards that, that can be uh, rewarded. Okay, for students, uh, the, the top award is uh, given to students with uh, six or above so subjects uh, in the level five uh, double star uh, categories. Okay, and they will actually receive full tuition scholarship uh, and a lot of other uh, incentives as well. And for students uh, admitted through the non juvenile system, providing that, that they have a GPA score of more than three, okay, they will have a full tuition scholarship with other incentives as well. And uh, the earlier questions about the, uh, well, I mean, apart from uh, awarding sort of academic performance, we also have uh, other admission uh, scholarships. As uh, uh, has earlier mentioned, that uh, we actually are looking for all rounded uh, students. Okay, so uh, we actually have uh, scholarships, uh, admission scholarships for students with uh, good performance in sports or in social service or in arts and innovative soft science. And whereas for the first in the family tertiary education admission scholarships, that is given to students uh, whose parents are not university graduates. So they will become the first sort of a, a generation in their family to enter university education and we welcome these students to join United College uh, by providing them with this uh, sort of a first in the family tertiary education admission scholarships. Okay, so that it is at the admission scholarships. I believe that uh, as new students, you'll be uh, interested in. Obviously, we'll have other scholarships and awards later on in your academic uh, career if you perform well enough. Thank, Thank you, you, Professor Lau. So our new students do remember to apply for different scholarships when you get into our college. And apart from different scholarships and funding schemes, our college also encourages our students to study overseas through the UC GO program. It includes different term time or short term learning activities. So Professor Lau, can you please share with us more about this program? Right, okay. Uh, the, let, me, let me now share the uh, slides about the GO program. Uh, this actually is a program that integrated all the sort of exchange activities uh, either uh, organized by the college itself or assisted in uh, organizing okay and uh, it was set up in 2008 now it's entering its 12th anniversary and it actually is supported by a wide range of scholarships and financial awards and uh, students will have many opportunities participate in our local learning activities organized by ourselves as I already mentioned or organized with other units of the universities and they can be categorized into either long-term or short-term activities for the long-term one okay they can be either a one-year exchange or full year exchange with a foreign university uh, at which the, the students would actually uh, and get, uh, enroll uh, in so number of subjects. Uh, we have also short-term uh, exchange programs uh, to enhance students' language and also uh, recognitions of foreign uh, culture, cultures okay, under the language and cultural learning programs and also extend their social service to uh, other countries. So here, I just want to share with you some of the exchange partners we have okay, for both long-term and also short-term uh, more uh, sort of a language or academic uh, exchange. Uh, here are also uh, some pictures taken of the short-term summer uh, exchange uh, where students learn about uh, foreign language and foreign cultures. And also here are some pictures of the sticking where students are engaged with social service in foreign countries, for example, uh, in, in uh, Cambodia or in Japan or back in uh, to the mainland, okay, uh, with the Chiang Mai University. So there are a lot of exchange opportunities 
for our students, okay, to visit other mainland or other universities or other countries. Okay, that, that, that's the end of our sharing here. Thank you, Professor Lau. Just now, our team of students have introduced different facilities and activities of our college. I believe most of our new students have already gained a deeper understanding. So United College is one of the four old colleges. Our college, has, our college is larger in scale and has a longer history as well. Over the years, we have nurtured many talents and leaders. Can Professor Yu please introduce some of no, our famous no, And no, I know that no, no, some no, of no, our no, UC students no, are no, the no, Rose no, Scholarship. No, so what is this scholarship about? Okay, let me uh, talk about the Rose Scholarship first. Um, let's share the screen. Now, this is a person everybody recognizes, right? Um, President Bill Clinton, he was a Rose Scholar. Okay. So was eight of our former students. Now, that is a very impressive number for a college. Well, to be a Rose Scholar, I think you have to be uh, well prepared. And you, you have to plan it years ahead. So that means uh, when you come to United College, you need to really set your goal very high. And then we have, of course, a network to help you. Yeah. Uh, the success of United College, uh, I think, uh, depends on, on you. And we would uh, make sure that you get the, the highest quality of education that you, you, you receive, okay? And about the uh, famous um, alumni, let's go to uh, the, the next page. We have uh, two serving university presidents. Okay. Um, first one, Professor Jen from economics in 1975. And then um, Stephen Jell, the president um, of Education University graduated from mathematics in 1982. And we have a, a um, businessman, Mr. Ricky Wong. Uh, he is so innovative. I'm sure you will enjoy interacting with him. He is so, so, so much wisdom uh, to share. And then we have a, well, educator and businessman, uh, Mr. Lam, Wawa Lam. Um, a, also a very, very efficient uh, teacher in, in, in the Chinese language. And today you are going to uh, meet uh, our Arnold Chen and, uh, in a moment. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sure you will enjoy talking to him. And then uh, how about Miss Hong Kong? We got one just uh, two years ago, uh, Miss Chen. Yeah, just a couple of years ago um, from from nursing uh, department. So it's show you how interesting, how diverse the, the, the group is. And we, we do have a, a strong uh, network to help you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Just now, Professor Yu has introduced Mr. Arnold Chen. And today we are very honored to have him to share with us his experience and memories as a United College student. Mr. Chen obtained a bachelor's degree in global business studies at CUHP and worked at Goldman Sachs after graduation. At a later time, he obtained an MBA from Harvard University. And now he's the founder for Teach for Hong Kong, a nonprofit education organization. So I would like to ask Arnold, did your learning experience at CUHK and United College influence your career choice and cultivate your commitment in the teaching profession? I think so, uh, you're very right that um, both the college and the university actually impacted me quite a lot. I think first from the university, I think you guys all made the very right choice for choosing CUHK. I'm very drawn to the humanistic, humanistic spirit of um, the Chinese university, where we actually care for the underserved, where we care for the society, where the university itself has always emphasized that we as university graduates 
to think about our obligations and our commitment to the society. And I think that is one of the reasons why I commit myself to a nonprofit endeavor. And I think the college, um, United College, there are a lot, lot of things I like about United College. I'd like to talk about some of them. I think first one is definitely from my times, like you see it's definitely um, being seen as more liberal, um, more carefree, less stressful than many other colleges. And I think um, as a university student, as a fresher, you don't want to be um, uh, restricted by a lot of regulations just like you did in, 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 in secondary school. So I think UC definitely fit into the um, to the environment, to the uh, category of creating a lot of uh, freedom and create a lot of flexibility for any kind of like students that um, we're having at UC. I think second part is about um, the support for students. I think the Dean of Students has also mentioned that um, we do have a lot of scholarships for um, supporting students to go abroad or a lot of opportunities to enrich students' exposure. I was one of the very lucky few to get the um, UC scholarship to go abroad for exchange and that basically uh, widened my horizon a lot and also um, prompt me to rethink how I should um, uh, lead my career. And I think the final uh, part, is, the, the final part I like about UC is uh, embedded in the, in our um, school song and within uh, UC, which the first sentence, the Chinese saying means that we have a lot of um, diversified students. And I think that is very important. Um, as a university student, you are here to learn to explore about yourself and to explore about the society. And I, th I, I think the fact that your friends from the college actually come from a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different um, faculties, that would actually um, prompt you to better like um, uh, enrich your university life. I think that's the reason um, I, uh, I chose my career is all because of the university and all because of the college. Thank you, Arnold. And you just mentioned that CHK and United College have inspired you a lot to achieve your goal. So what does college life mean to you when you look back at your university experience? To me, I felt like um, the whole four year of university, university experience is always a journey of self-exploration. You of different like societies, you jump other activities. Sometimes you'll be very pumped up, sometimes you Get a lot of achievements. You sometimes get a lot of um, praises, but but there will be times where you'll be very frustrated, where you'll be um, not getting what you want. You'll be um, challenged by others, and I think college itself is like a shelter. It's like a home. It's like a family, where whatever frustrations or whatever setbacks you have in your other parts of your university life, you can always go back to the college and always go back to your friends, your roommates, your floor mates, and they will be they will always be the ones supporting you. Can you also share some of your unforgettable moments at our college? I think what I really like about uh, UC is definitely um, um, the gardens that we have and also uh, the environment that we have. I still remember uh, I'll, sometimes I'll be very uh, I'll, I'll be very stressed and I'll be because I, I, I've been doing a lot of different activities during college, during university. So I still remember the times when I was super stressed. I'll always come back, walk around UC, look at the statues. And that always gives me a lot of new inspirations and a lot of new thinking towards my university life. Um, and those are very vivid memories of how I basically spend my time at college and at the same time, how I basically face challenges um, during uh, university. Thank you. And um, this year was a difficult time for our freshmen. So do you have any final message for our new students? So see, you're very right that this year is a very difficult time for anyone to be a fresher. So I have to say you guys are the chosen ones. Um, don't feel hopeless. Um, you guys still have a lot of bright future ahead of you. And remember this, there's no right or wrong of how you lead a university life. You should find a way of life in the university that suits you the most. The only um, thing that I would recommend you not to do is to waste your university life is to not break through yourself. I think the most important part is to always try new things, have an open mind, and enjoy university life. So thank you, Arnold, for sharing with us his experience studying at United College. In fact, our college values all around the development of our students and provides opportunities for current students to interact with alumni and develop professional network through a mentorship program. So Professor Lau, what is this look? mentorship program about and what is its purpose? Right, okay, so uh, for the uh, 
uh, this is the program it actually was found by the college and also the alumni association in the year 2000 and the aim actually is to <coughs> sorry to foster a ment mentoring relationship between alumni and students of the college uh, over a period of one year and the aim is to help our students to build self-confidence build self-confidence uh, develop uh, good ethics and communication skills and also enhance knowledge beyond mere book learning through interaction with alumni and <clears throat> the alumni that we chose okay actually uh, have to uh, graduate for eight years or above so that they can share their sort of uh, career experience life experience with our students and uh, it depends very much on the interaction between the mentor and the mentee okay to make the program successful and i have to say that it has been quite successful because since uh, the year 2000 now we actually have 20 years of experience and a lot of the original mentees okay they were recruited in year 2000 and now mentors they are actually looking at after uh, their, their, their fellows of uh, schoolmates okay and um, apart from the interaction between the mentor and mentees themselves the uh, program itself will actually help to ice break uh, uh, the, the, the interaction between the mentor and mentees through an operation luncheon and also hold regular activities to make sure that mentor and mentees will have some formal occasions that they can interact for example uh, during the lunar new years and also some mentor sharing lectures so this actually is a very good program uh, i encourage all our new sort of, uh, students uh, to, to, to 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 join so that they can learn from their uh, mentors Thank you. Thank you, Professor Lau, for your detailed explanation. I agree with you that um, our college provides many opportunities and supports for our students. I've also joined the mentorship program and the UC Co program when I was a student. These experiences were definitely very um, valuable and memorable. Especially during my exchange, I have made many lifelong UC friends and had a chance to experience a different culture. So to me, United College is just like a big family where our students can grow and learn from each other. Apart from studying, college life has made a huge impact on me and enriched my university experience. For example, joining different student activities and meeting many UC friends and teachers. This experience has definitely made my university life more exciting and fruitful. And I'm glad that I've chose UC as my first choice when I was year one. And at last, thank you to all our guests and once again for sharing different information about our college. If you are interested in United College, you may browse our webpage for new students or our Facebook page. We hope all of you can have a fruitful and meaningful university life and hope to see you soon at United College. Thank you.